interview pre-coronation where he could talk about Prince Harry. This chat, to be taped nearly 30 years after the first bombshell interview, might see the king finally break his silence on his younger son's claims. King Charles III has reportedly decided to use his power to punish his younger son, Prince Harry, and bring him back to the track as the Duke of Sussex, made bombshell claims in his memoirs spare. In the tell-all, Prince Harry reflected on his life as a part of the royal family, his relationship with Prince William and his wife Kate Middleton and his grief over the death of his mother, Princess Diana. The Duke of Sussex said in his spare memoir, the craft was sent after then Prince Charles' vehicle in Norfolk, while Harry 38 was training for combat in a hotel room near King's Lynn. Harry said about sending a typhoon fighter after his dad, R.E.F. Marham, had received dozens of complaints. Sandringham was supposed to be a no-fly zone. All complainants were told, such is war. I loved seeing Pa, loved feeling his pride, and I felt buoyed by his praise. But I had to get back to work. I was mid-control, couldn't tell the typhoon to please hold on a moment. Yes, yes, darling boy, back to work, he drove off. As he went down the track, I told the typhoon, new target, grey Audi, headed southeast for my position down track. Towards a big silver barn, orientated east-west, the typhoon tracked Pa, did a low pass straight over him, almost shattering the windows of his Audi, but ultimately spared him, on my orders. It went on to blow a silver barn to smithereens. The source said that King Charles will talk about this detail and ask Harry why he's so heartless. The expert also claimed that King Charles has evolved a strategy to stop Prince Harry from crossing limits in rage. So the idea that Charles could return to television to break his silence about Harry isn't a completely ridiculous notion, and multiple outlets report it's in talks to happen, and to tie it all together with a bow, with Dimbleby on the BBC no less, all a part of the media coverage in the lead-up to his coronation in May. The news reports Jonathan Dimbleby may have a chat with King Charles on camera for the coronation celebrations, and he could address troubles with Harry and Meghan, since the Netflix show and memoir spare nearly 30 years after the first Dimbleby interview, Palisades are discussing the possibility of the monarch using his chat to give his side of the story, the outlet reports, which would break the unspoken, or spoken, who knows, code of silence amongst the royal family, to not say a word about Harry and Meghan's recent forays into the limelight. Dimbleby is apparently a long-time friend of Charles's, and the BBC wants to do a piece about Charles's life, and plans his monarch. Palace aides are concerned about the line of questioning, the Mirror writes, but sources say the monarch is mulling over the interview offer. Plans are already up and running for coronation coverage at the BBC, including the profile on the monarch, an insider tells the outlet. It's not the done thing to avoid subjects in interviews, so it makes matters tricky. Even one small comment on Harry and Meghan would make worldwide news. It could also prompt a response from Harry, which would be unpredictable. Like so much, everything is delicate. Apparently, ITV has also come to the table to add